Welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel for the first weekly address for uh, DuroClean Technology. This is a company that uh, we have covered since uh, late 2022, uh, closed out 2023 uh, in a fantastic fashion. Really want to set expectations for investors going forward. I, I think the psychology and um, and really the philosophy surrounding uh, how it is going to be best to own this company going forward based on the due diligence that I have done personally. Uh, I share that openly through the channel, um, but as well as some of the consensus due diligence that has been shared uh, through our small network through YouTube to bring this uh, to the awareness forefront for would-be share owners and would be patrons of what Aduro Clean Technologies is trying to do uh, with their technology. Uh, before I get into it, uh, I'd like to acknowledge the um, the close of 2023. Uh, very positive. I, I do want to set the tempo for um, my um, my message as it is perceived by the share owners out there. Uh, this video is going to be surrounded about around uh, the idea of conviction over a company, um, what it takes to have true conviction, uh, what it is going to mean to render the maximum amount of return for a would-be share owner, uh, what I am doing to curb my expectations and keep it real. Uh, I really want to focus on the fundamentals that are available with the company, as well as the fundamentals that I expect to materialize over the next coming years. Um, when I suggest the evolution of covering this company in years, I'd like to set somewhat of a strategic goal of 2027 for this company to have advanced through their uh, commissioning of their reactor series. Uh, the um, hopeful um, uh, evolution in their customer engagement program, I thought it was a real tell, <clears throat> excuse me, on the last web webinar that the company provided, Mina Bache, um, the company's uh, CFO of all things, provided some insight to share owners to understand that this company is not looking to 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 move at light speed. And I, I think his point was to allude to the learnings that would happen over the course of really engaging with their customers and having a dual learning both on the Aduro side as well as their customers as to what what the power of this technology can render for each of their respective customers. And I, I thought that was really, really smart. Um, I thought it was really prudent to address the, the current situation now and suggest that they've got some work to do. This project is not done. It is going to require share owners to provide um, patience to the position. It is going to require conviction. Just as of late, we had the stock run up to 115, only to digress quickly but below $1 a share. And I presume that that did, in fact, shake some folks from the stock. And, and that is naturally going to happen. I can't prevent that, nor would I suggest that either buying or selling or holding is a recommendation that needs to come across the airwaves on the independent investor channel. That's not what I'm here to do. Um, I'm not here to uh, encourage you to buy the stock or even worse, influence you to buy the stock. Uh, but for those who have covered financial markets for any amount of respectable time frame, understand a couple of things about the power of the stock market, and more specifically, the power of getting in early. Look, you can invest in Johnson & Johnson, and you can invest in the S&P 500, and you can invest in those blue chip diamonds of the stock market. Uh, I do personally. Um, if you don't, and you're looking for this to be a pie-in-the-sky idea here through Aduro Clean Technology that's going to make you rich overnight, 
without doing due diligence, I think it's going to be a really, really tough psychological road to hoe. Does it have the potential to make share owners money? Yes, it does. The potential is there. But there are a few things that an individual investor are uh, specifically responsible for. And I'm going to go over some of those things that you need to take ownership over. You need to totally understand that these decisions are yours and yours alone. Uh, and you need to understand uh, how how this fits into your own personal routine, okay? <sighs> Aduro is one of those companies that fits into a category of investing that I'm going to try to choose my words carefully here because I see a lot of value in Aduro Clean Technologies. And as share owners and as would-be investors, we are charged with the idea of value investing no matter the size of the company. Aduro has just stepped over the 70 million uh, US market cap mark. I applaud those efforts. Uh, I think it is going to be very important for them to reach that hundred million dollar market cap mark here, uh, just for the sheer idea that I think more notoriety and further discovery will be made over the name. But would be investors in Aduro need to be very, very careful about taking information from YouTube and putting that to work. Presuming that I have done everything that I need to do enough for you to take the recommendation and you not do what you're required to do on your end. So my first charge to would-be investors is if you're going to gain conviction over this name, I would encourage you to visit the multiple drop points of information. First and foremost being adurocleantech.com. That's adurocleantech.com. I share that in all of the videos uh, that I release in the description. So you can link quickly over there. Give yourself an opportunity, a half hour or an hour, to read through the press releases, to read through the history of the company, when they started and why. Um, why now, uh, 11 years removed of their um, original inception as a company, it is so important now for would-be investors to pay attention to this story because things are starting to evolve at a rapid pace and they are starting to evolve in a very exciting way uh, with some of the renderings rolling off of their customer engagement program that would suggest that Aduro has the goods. Aduro has a technology that works. Uh, comparatively speaking, across the industry is far superior, uh, both with the energy input necessary to run this technology, therefore rendering not only the back end economically viable, but the product that is rendered on the back end for reuse is uh, is is unparalleled to anything else that we've seen in the industry. Conviction. Number two, investors that are trying to look at this opportunity in a box, which you should, you must define your own level of conviction. Now, I will say that the network on YouTube of folks that are covering Adero Clean Technology can help soften the blow for individuals out there trying to define their own conviction. I get it. It can be confusing. A, a lot of you guys that may even invest in an Aduro or invest in uh, the stock market in general don't have a lot of time or maybe even self-admittedly don't have a lot of time to do deep research into this company enough to feel comfortable with taking a posture in the company. This is where the network can provide, myself included, some of the other channels that uh, are featured channels of mine. I know Mary Yush does a great job of covering the company, uh, Penny Queen, as well as Carbonomics. Th those are the three that come to my mind. Uh, if you didn't, didn't want to hear it, uh, opinion or consensus through the network, you could go directly to the news releases provided by Aduro. Um, and, and however you choose to consume your information can kind of help you define what it is that we're looking at, um, where our positions lie, 
uh, where our cost basis lies. Um, for you guys that fo have followed me for a while now, my position is done. Okay. My position is built. It is bought out. But I will say this to help you understand, okay, is it too late for new investors to come into the story? Absolutely not. If I was being introduced to Aduro Clean Technologies on today's date in 2024, I would be just as excited to buy the stock at a dollar twelve or a dollar eleven or a dollar twenty-five as I was uh, in the fifty to a dollar range. Nothing has really changed so material with the company that I wouldn't suggest that the company is still significantly undervalued here in the current marketplace, trading on the QX board at a dollar eleven USD. Okay. So don't think for a second that because I'm halting my buying in the in the position, I have the luxury of doing so because I'm satisfied with the position that I have accumulated and have been accumulating over the last 14 months. It doesn't mean that new buyer interest can't step in because I think 99% of the best conviction evolution of the company going forward is in front of us, not behind us, okay? So I think it's incumbent upon investors to make their own individual decisions with regard to the buy timing of Aduro and really put this thing into context and where we are here early 2024 and where we expect Aduro to go over the next three years as we track the performance of the company and report out as appropriate. The next item I want to mention, and this is very, very important. Where one investor can justify buying a million shares in the company, um, where one investor can justify buying 100,000 shares of the company, where another investor could justify buying 10,000 or 1,500 shares of the company or less than 1,000 shares of the company is irrelevant in taking away the responsibility that you have as an individual share owner to accumulate the number of shares that make sense for you. Not me, not anybody else on YouTube, but for you, for you alone. That's it. When I talked about the message and the network softening the blow a little bit to the due diligence necessary to have the ample conviction to own a company like this, that can certainly help you make that decision. And my friends, there are only three decisions to make in this deliberation. There is not an infinite amount of decisions to be made. And those three decisions, I'll give them to you now, are to buy, to hold, and or to sell. Okay. Now, the last one I think is actually one of those decisions that, yes, you are in fact provided as as an option in your decision making but me personally at a dollar 11 with most of the upward appreciation in front of us i think is quite frankly irresponsible and could be an extremely regrettable decision uh, if you're justifying selling at these levels but like i said you're on your own with regard to the decisions that you uh, have in front of you uh, and those decisions to to either buy, hold, or or sell the stock. With regard to your positioning in the company, now I really want to encourage investors out there that are looking at this company as a viable option to take it in context. Um, if I can assist a little bit in providing you with some level of insight on how I look at my Aduro Clean Technologies holdings and how it fits into my total overall comprehensive portfolio, and it is comprehensive, um, I do seek out diversification in my portfolio, okay? Contrary to what Warren Buffett would suggest about diversification being a, a fool man's game, I think the investment landscape has changed since Warren Buffett was investing 80 years ago and deploying strategies that had him identifying a blue ocean of companies with significant and deep value. Now, in today's investing landscape, 
you can have phenomenal businesses out there that by the whims of uh, algorithmic and quant trading can subject themselves to downtrends that can shake a lot of investors out of stock. I would say with the short selling uh, attacks on specific companies, um, no company being immune to that attack. Uh, also lends itself to the investor being a little bit more acknowledging of the environment and acknowledging that, I mean, look at it in the small cap, micro cap space. We've just went through it over the last three years. And there's some phenomenal companies there that have just went down. Does that mean they're bad investors? Does that mean that um, you know they they picked the wrong stock? Absolutely not. I think if we take a step back and acknowledge the current environment now, I, I think we can safely suggest that sometimes stocks that have no business going up, go up. Stocks that have no business going down, go down. So for me, to have positions that have nothing to do with speculative investing is just something that I have done. I share openly with you, not to suggest that it's right, wrong, or indifferent. That's just my way. It helps me to buffer the conviction that I have in a Duro, coupled with the due diligence that I have done on the company. And I would dare suggest that a Duro Clean Technology is one of the easiest companies that I own, not the most difficult. You want to talk about difficult companies that I have owned previously in the last five years? I'll give you five if I can. Alibaba, horrible, horrible investment, phenomenal company. Um, with an overhang of a government that seemingly can control and manipulate the direction of the stock, I'll never invest in another Chinese company again. Why? Because on the onset, you can do due diligence on the company. They can be, be making money hand over fist, uh, only to be subject to the, um, the whims of our restrictions in our U.S. markets as it relates to the Chinese markets. And I just won't play ball. I'm not suggesting that Alibaba won't go up in the future, but what a terrible, terrible ride that has been when looking at the value proposition, a perfect example of a great company that by nature of the geopolitical influences between the two nations' governments and ideologies specifically would drive the company in the ground. I'll give you a couple other examples. AT&T has done nothing but underperform the market. That's been a really, really tough hold. IBM. Intel, some of these diamonds at the stock market, Cisco, for example, Pfizer, some of these are Dow components, my friends. But when I look at a DuroClean Technologies value just over 70 million market cap, it's very, very easy for me. I'm not trying to sell you on conviction. I'm trying to let you know where my conviction is derived from after my due diligence is, is done. Now, most of those examples of companies that I have addressed in being tough holds for you guys to kind of cross and compare, where most people would justify jumping into some of those value names exclusively and discredit a company like Aduro for some bear case reasons um, that they look at and say, hey, it's just not for me. It takes a little bit of imagination to understand that we are in the early innings of this particular company. And and how that could translate to an investor looking at this opportunity with not a speculative eye, but rather a value-added perspective. And I, I really think that the action in the stock uh, as of late has come through discovery. I, I don't think I would chalk a lot of this up as fundamentals. I think this move was actually six months late. Um, I looked at the middle of 2023 as looking at a Duro kind of making the move that we're seeing now in the company. Now, albeit you could kind of look at the beginning of 2023 and coming off of the 50 cent range, 50, 60 cent range coming into 2023. Um, as being that silent move north, I mean, there was a little bit of buying action, but the volume would suggest that Aduro is undiscovered at this point. That only adds to the volatility that we can expect into the future, or at least the short to medium term. 
I'm looking into the future to look at an Aduro clean technology that actually has physical infrastructure in place with their technology running through the pipelines and the reactors. Um, I'm looking at a Aduro clean technology that's actually uh, earning reoccurring revenue off of their licensing model um, by allowing uh, major companies to actually put their technology to work. Uh, and a Duro uh, uh, gleaning some of those revenues off of those multiple entities. Um, I'm looking at an Aduro clean technologies down the line that is sporting low input to companies to where those companies can actually report out on the very bottom dollar that is being saved by utilizing the hydrochemiletic technology that Aduro sports. We've just been made privy to the uh, Aduro Clean Technologies customer engagement um, from their smallest oil company. Um, and the effect that their uh, company's technology is having on the ability to reduce the amount of diluent um, that is added to the heavy uh, laden sand um, uh, crude oil uh, to allow it to flow properly through the pipeline, diluent has been an additive that uh, has been necessary historically to move the product through the pipeline, not till Aduro came along. And just on a small front, it's suggesting that Aduro could save this company upwards of 50% on the cost of transport and the additives of diluent in there and moving the diluent out of that transportation and adding the chemistry in there to lighten up that um, heavy uh, oil sands that move through the pipeline. And, and, and that stuff is just some of those things that are really flying under the radar with Aduro certainly adds to my conviction when I'm looking at this, look, I'm not picking up news here that the technology is not working, okay? This program and this process of sharing Aduro news, it ceases to exist if Aduro cannot continue to prove out um, in the face of not only third party, but specific customer engagement portfolios that they're working with, that this technology is the real deal. And I have heard nothing to the contrary to that. And it just lends itself to my own personal conviction. Again, you'll have to derive that conviction for yourself in looking at this technology and saying, look, okay, Ryan, I hear you. Your opinion is such that it's really, really good. You're aligned with Eric Appleman, who had suggested that it's better than what he suggested it was three years ago when he was introduced. Um, the third-party validation is... Um, is 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 not sufficient and you could suggest back to me that you just disagree with the technology and that it's too good to be true you're entitled to your opinion okay but when we are revolving around this idea of conviction if you don't have conviction over the technology which is the lifeblood of this company amongst uh, many other bullish attributes that the company has currently then you're not going to survive for the long term in understanding where I think this company is going and what direction the company is heading as it relates to share owners, okay? And where we are in the cycle of understanding, are we early innings? Are we, you know, are, are we seeing the best of Aduro right now? Um, is there more to be expected into the future? And as we close down the weekly address when talking about personal conviction, I, I really hope this helped you frame what it is that I'm going to suggest to you now. And for you guys that watch these 30-minute videos every week, it's very, very important to watch them from start to finish because I am trying to condition your psychology and your philosophy around this company because really what it comes down to on the stock buy side – is buy, hold, or sell. You take X number of dollars, you start a brokerage account, or you already have a brokerage account or a Roth IRA, you take said dollars, you buy X number of shares of the company. You hold those shares, you sell the shares. That's stock market investing 101 when it comes to establishing a position in the company. It's what you do with that holding 
that is the key for people to truly understand. And I think furthermore, what we are looking for in the community are not those swing traders on the company who are interested in entering into the company for a few pennies, only to lose out on the long-term potential of the company. And I think if you really look at this from a conviction standpoint, I, I think there is so many unknowns. I, I think if I were going to put it on a scale of zero to 100, I, I think we are in the know on about 1% of the total overall story of this company. Ground floor investing, yes. Getting in before the at the calm before the storm, yes. Is this a rare opportunity for retail investors to actually for once have a a, a pre-IPO opportunity? This is almost like a, a venture capital opportunity where you're getting in on a, a company that has come to market in a very, very unique way and a, a very strategic way that would allow for would-be share owners to get in on this company on the ground floor. It's just that simple. An opportunity to acknowledge and look at the uh, upper management who owns 40% of the business, who have nary a sold one share in the company. Why? Because of the bullish conviction that each and every one of those upper management have. And for us to soften that learning curve to conviction for would-be share owners is worth its weight in gold. It's worth its weight in gold to hit the subscribe button to each of the few channels that are providing Aduro Clean Technologies awareness cost you nothing. And the upside could be infinite. Now, I will close with this. What is it going to take to render the ultimate profits on Aduro Clean Technology? Presuming that the story remains intact, uh, rem uh, presuming that over the next three years, as Mena would suggest, the company is able to glean further learnings uh, that can be integrated into uh, R3 and eventually R4, the, the commercial reactor. Presuming that the company continues to build out their team and hire on uh, incredible talent, um, presuming that this company can remain on track with their um, uh, financial prowess, which their execution on the financial side has just been absolutely remarkable. Presuming that those things are kept intact and that the lifeblood of the company can only continue to evolve for the customers that they serve, my friends, the only way to own this company is to own it ultra long. I say that tongue in cheek, realizing that people will make their way to mine and other messages only to buy the stock to exit prematurely. I know that. I get it. Um, to each his own. I'm not going to suggest that you're right, wrong, or indifferent. It just is what it is in business. That's it. You choose to sell this stock prematurely. That is your choice. Is it a win if you make profit? Certainly. Everybody's cir circumstance is different. And you have to align your circumstance with your holding and glean that conviction enough to take it to the ultimate profit. And my friends, to glean the ultimate profit off of this opportunity puts us at a first look at 2027. So if you suggest that I'm going to come in here and celebrate a two-week movement in a stock price in a, in a company that by nature of my due diligence and conviction in the company needs to allot a DuroClean technology that ample time to get to that first look in 2027, then what are we talking about? We are talking about a company in the early stages that is going to evolve into something special and evolve into and realize that maximum potential, my friends, we are not talking about a company that has realized maximum potential, rather scratching the surface. And I bid you all the best of luck in defining your own personal conviction as it relates to your Aduro Clean Technologies holdings. Guys, if you enjoy the content coming through the channel, I'd invite you to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Please, if your comments at the bottom of the video, we need to start striking up a dialogue 
on the evolution of this company because one thing is inevitable, my friends, 2027 will be around the corner. We will be there for that first look and we will relate back on these discussions as we've had them here in 2022, 2023, and now here in 2024 as we march toward that inevitable end as we evolve with this community and Aduro Clean Technologies. Thank you so much for turning in for the totality of the video and good luck in your investment future. 